Words are not uh, big enough to contain truth. And what does belief mean? When you believe in some words, what are you doing to them? You can look actually. Hmm? You see? Huh? Learned, learned, but learned could be memorized. No? So you could say, uh, Baba Black Sheep, <laughs> have you any wool? So you memorize those. So that could also be learned. So when we say, This I believe, what are we saying? Yes, yes. Yes, we are claiming knowledge of truth contained in that notion. The sum truth is contained in that statement. But the truth that I have discovered with my master's grace I find that no truth, no words can contain it. So if this is about the truth, what can I believe? empty of this conceptual belief, what is your condition? What is your condition without any of this belief? And we are saying neither belief nor disbelief. You see, we are not taking a new set of beliefs which are the opposites of beliefs that we had and saying, ah, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in... Those are a new set of beliefs. So we are not talking about either belief or what we would call disbelief. What is your condition your status without any such notion. It's like being in the unborn space. Very beautiful. Easy. So, Master Bankai said, all things are perfectly resolved in the unborn. So, empty of mind, empty of conceptual truths, she says, we are in the unborn. So what is left unresolved? Nothing. <laughs> no. 
And if you don't insert your meanness, your identity into this, if you don't bring the question, what's in it for me? Or how should I live now? What does it mean for me? You're fine. Are you then confused about who you are? Because the mind can scare you. So you'll become so empty. You'll become nothing. You'll be lost. You won't know who you are. But is that true? Do you need belief to know yourself? Do you need to believe you exist? Do you need belief to become aware? Whatever is apparent to you without interpretation is the truth. Without judgment, without claims. So what is apparent to you? The isness. Beautiful terms are unborn, isness. And I hope you're not all humoring me because you know he wants to hear this. <laughs> Only after he hears this, he'll leave us alone. <laughs> Advaita Jagan. Is it like that? So, just open and empty. And anyway, we have the master's reassurance that all things are perfectly resolved. What a beautiful gift. So the world of things is also perfectly resolved when you go beyond the world of things. The objective universe has nothing to struggle with as you are in the unborn. You see, so if you want to start with believing something, then at least believe that. That will lead you to beyond belief. What can appear here, which is a problem? A thought can come as a claim that something has to be different from what it is. That is a problem. Or thing, let's make sure that things don't become different from what they are is the flip side of the same coin. 
so a thought is only an attempt to resist what is your belief in the thought is the resistance to what is guruji says thoughts come auditioning for your attention and belief is it if you give them 10 on 10 that part i'm paraphrasing if you give them 10 on 10 then you are resisting what is and you of course is what here is consciousness this is the game that consciousness is playing with itself 